Kovalev was vindicated. They say Kovalev don't listen to nobody. They say he's a Mr. Know-it-all. They say maybe there just was too much vodka in that belly. Was it a low blow when Andre Ward got the stoppage over him? How high is the is the scrotum, is the nutsack of Sergey Kovalev? There are so many questions. And now it seems as though HBO is done with him. HBO boxing is just done. You know, I keep HBO for one because my pop and Game of Thrones. I like to go through their um, documentary library every now and then. I noticed something um, um, about, well, it doesn't have anything to do with boxing, so fuck it. The point is, I think it's safe to say that HBO boxing is dying. Do you, do you? Do you see in the near future a press release or some news coming out that HBO um, has signed or HBO has gotten um, a substantial boxing or sports increase of some shit? Canelo and Golovkin's uh, contracts are done with HBO as of Saturday right now, tomorrow. Right now it's um, September the 14th. Uh, 2018, 12.34 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. I guess let's just talk about the news of the day right now. Well, the new, the big, the first big news of the day. So far, we have um, Alvarez versus Kovalev 2. That's going to be on um, ESPN, top rank on ESPN. We're going to talk about that in a minute. We got the uh, Canelo versus Golovkin weigh-in that's going to happen today. And also, you have um, um, Alexander Usyk versus uh, Tony Bellew that's been announced. I'm already prepared. You know, it's Canelo versus Golovkin weekend. So, obviously, since I work on YouTube and I cover boxing, I've prepared today and tomorrow to do nothing but videos. So, expect about 16-plus videos between now and Sunday. So, it's going to be pretty busy. But, anyway, let's get to this um, right here. I have the press release, but I read it. It's really no real news in it. In fact, you know, for you guys who want to look at it, let's go look at it. Main events posted it. Let's see. Where's that? But it really says something. Um, If you noticed, Top Rank is playing a really good game right now with picking up the rights to fights, even if they don't actually have promotional rights to the fighters themselves. Kind of like Al Heyman uses uh, uh, promoters, different promoters for all his fighters. You see what I'm saying? Where is it at? Is this it? Let's see if we can find anything worth reading in here. You know, also, this is a really, 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 really big deal because this promoter right here, Yvonne Michael, or Michelle, Yvonne Michelle, Yvonne Michael, this guy right here also promotes Adana Stevenson, Archer Bird to BF, who's over with the zone. So the fact that we're seeing this, um, also, um, Adana Stevenson, 175 pound um, WBC champion, lineal champion, no matter how you slice it. Whether you like it or not, he's going to be fighting um, Alexander Grovesdick later on this year. I'm think I, I, I believe I read somewhere they said December, and it's looking like it's going to be on Showtime, but it's not really necessarily known for sure yet. Now remember, later Alvarez is also a Al Heyman fighter as well, and HBO had the option on a later Alvarez if he had beat Clovelev, which he did. So basically, HBO could have picked up the rematch with no promotional issues whatsoever, and they just didn't do it. But yet, they had Superfly 3 on the uh, uh, Flyweight uh, tournament, um, and they're supposed to be putting on another Superfly card in February, but yet they don't do Kovalev Alvarez so it's like you know we don't know what HBO boxing is doing many people are asking the question well if HBO boxing is dying then when are where guys like Jim Lampley and Roy Jones and those guys going to go well good thing for them is that with all these networks and everything I mean with these streaming services you know they'll be able to find a job but it's just weird you know because we don't know what HBO was doing so unless we hear within the next few weeks or at the post fight press conference of uh, Canelo Golovkin that um they're going to re-sign Canelo or Golovkin. Like, for example, Oscar De La Hoya is shopping around. You could very well also see Canelo on ESPN. Understand what I'm telling you is where I say ESPN um, has two different 
promotional companies, Golden Boy and Top Rank, two different deals with these two different promoters. So you can see Canelo on ESPN as well. For example, uh, last night, a video I got to cover, um, a, um, a card I got to cover is Golden Boy had a card on uh, last night, Thursday the 13th, uh, headlined by uh, uh, Pablo Cesar Cano. And tonight, Top Rank is having a card on ESPN with uh, Jose Ramirez and Antonio Rosco I'm going to be covering. And then um, we got Canelo GGG2 tomorrow. You know, and they were running all kind of Canelo to Tecate shit, you know, and the promo for Canelo GGG2 on the ESPN3 undercard stream for that fight. And also, like, the ESPN, all that shit is a good deal. For the $5, you know, it's a really, really good deal. I just don't like how they put the press conferences behind that, what is called the paywall, you know, and the weigh-ins and shit like that, you know. But whatever, you know, I'm, and I'm not, not for me, but for you guys. I don't mind paying for it. You know, but for you guys, you know, for promoting the fight, I think that type of stuff should be free. But what am I doing? I was supposed to be finding some key information in here, but this is just like a get hype press release. We don't know what the date is going to be. We know it's going to be in likely January, no later than uh, March. And you can expect for main events who promotes uh, Kovalev and Bob Barham and top rank to mix up the card. So don't be surprised if you see somebody like maybe uh, uh, Isaac uh, Dog Bay, you know, Jesse uh, Magdaleno. Um, you know, even one of these guys could end up on that card that, that's fighting tonight. Uh, Jose Ramirez, Antonio Orozco. Well, they're fighting the winner of the winner of that's fighting the winner of Hooker Sosito. But what, you get what I'm saying. You know, they can put together some um, some uh, nice fights over on that side. Also, when you got the fact that um, Gilberto Ramirez is going to be moving up to 175 pounds, which I got to get in touch with Jesse Hart about because he was talking about Ramirez may vacate. Jesse Hart is a WBO mandatory at 168. He was saying Gilberto Ramirez may vacate and – a couple of days ago, he called me and saying that him, Hart versus James DeGale could possibly be could possibly be in the works because Frank Warren and Top Rank on ESPN have also reached a um, broadcast rights deal. So there's a lot of shit cooking with uh, Top Rank, and um, you know now that you know they're picking up the rights to a whole bunch of other fights, it seems as though they smoothed over whatever issues they were having with. Um, with uh, Manny Pacquiao, you know, which makes me think he may not be headed over to um, the zone after all. What else? I'm probably missing some stuff. I'm probably missing some stuff. Oh, and um, Eddie Hearn really, really, really wanted to get the, from what I understand, I think it was this guy that posted it. Eddie Hearn, as you can imagine, you know, Eddie Hearn has a lot of dates to fill. And they have a lot of money to, to throw around. But in the United States, you know, he's having a hard time. He's having a hard time. Yeah, this was, it was this guy right here. Lance Pugmire. Told that Eddie Hearn was so desperate to land the later Alvarez versus Kovalev fight on the zone USA. He summoned his powerful promoter father, Barry Hearn, to urge promoter Kathy Duva to strike a deal. She said thanks, but no thanks. Went to ESPN. As you know, ESPN is established. See, you know, the zone is going to have those issues over here. I've purchased the uh, uh, um, um, the zone. And um, Tony and uh, Rob, if y'all watching this. You know, and I'm, I'm going to make sure everybody gets um, access to this so you don't have to go buy it. But the first 30 days is free. It's a new it's new. You know, it's a new venture over here. And even though they have the money, ESPN is established. And also ESPN has the money, too. You know, top rank ESPN has a lot of money to throw around. So to end the video off, don't be surprised if you see a. Um, you know, Adonis Stevenson end up on on ESPN. You know, don't be surprised. Because right now, when it comes to 175, ESPN is kind of um, 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 getting ahead, especially when you factor in, well, Sullivan Barrera is with main events, you know, um, Dimitri Bivol, you know, and then they're aligned with Igus uh, uh, Klimas, who is over there with Lomachenko. Um, you know, it's 
it's complex. But, you know, I'm happy for Kovalev, man. I just hope that he understands that, you know, Kovalev's like the mystique of, of, the, of, of the power of Kovalev has gone away. Nobody really afraid of him, you know, no more. But that power, you know, has to be respected. But defensively, man, can't be eating combinations like that to the face. By anybody, light light punchers or light, by anybody, light punchers or anybody. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe.